Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that can often get a little confusing. The term aesthetics is often used when describing a bodybuilder. And words like muscle insertion points and short versus long muscle bellies are often used to further describe a person's physique and their aesthetics. So stay tuned and we'll dive further into this topic. In the drawing here, you see a short muscle belly from the perspective of the biceps and the triceps compared with a long muscle belly. Personally, it took me some time to understand these concepts and how they relate to bodybuilding genetics. And these two concepts are just one of many factors that can influence a person's genetic potential. So let's dig in a little further. A short muscle belly means that the middle, uh, I'm sorry, that the muscle attaches high on the tendon, meaning that the tendons are somewhat long and the muscles uh, and the muscle is somewhat short. For example, say your biceps are attaching high on the tendon, which means far from the elbow. That tends to create a gap between your bicep muscle and your forearm, as seen in the diagram here. Some bodybuilders have a large gap between their forearm and the outside edge of their bicep. This is a good example of a short muscle belly. It is normally considered to be a disadvantage in bodybuilding because it's very hard to build a lot of muscle around around it and make it look completely full. On the other hand, short biceps, or other muscles for that matter, peak or protrude more easily. As a rule of thumb, um, if you can stick two to three fingers between your biceps and your forearm area, chances are uh, considered you're considered to have a short muscle. The, the concept of short or long muscle bellies can vary from muscle group to muscle group. It can include calves, chest, tries, lats. They'll op all operate in a similar fashion. Uh, it's interesting to know that the length of your muscle bellies is complete, uh, completely genetically determined. What you're born with is what you have to work with. Sorry to say, guys. This isn't to say that you can't make huge improvements in your physique. It's important to understand that when you're talking about self-improvement, you're competing with yourself and no one else. The goal is always to be a better version of yourself, whether it's three months or a year from now. It's inspiring to look up to others and use others to motivate us to improve upon ourselves. But just remember, there's always, uh, always be someone bigger, stronger, and faster than you. So be realistic and simply work hard to achieve the best version of yourself. In summary, bodybuilders with really massive arms typically have a half inch or less of a gap between the outside edge of their contracted bicep and their forearms. In other words, in the bicep, they have long muscle bellies, short tendons, and great potential. To further emphasize this point, I've included some professional bodybuilders doing front double biceps or something similar. When you start looking at these pictures and focusing on the muscle insertion points, you begin to see the difference and hopefully, hopefully talk more intelligently on the topic should it come up in conversation. I hope you found this information useful, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and comment below. Thank you for watching.